Alright, coming up next should be a good one at 185 pounds between Michael Bisping and Robert Whitaker. While the road to middleweight golden glory still goes through Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker is the man and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles, you'll be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, he's one of the most dangerous man, men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background. Was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's the world and Olympic silver medalist. Was able to knock out Jacare Souza. Just a truly tremendous mixed martial artist. And since going up to 185, has truly found his move. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so, world of trouble. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Bisping is eight years his senior. He is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England! Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael Bacow Bisbee! All right, give the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight you get to watch it inside of an octagon.
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, how about the Whitaker right hand? See, this is why when you sit down to play EA Sports Every UFC time. 4. John, no question. <laughs> no question. I know where I'm going. I try to make it go random, but I randomly select the Reaper, Robert Whitaker. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Connects with a right. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. And both guys really throwing with authority. <laughs> nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing look this short. Never looked this good. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Whitaker gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Right on the button. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. <laughs> Big hog punch land. Now we get back to range. Trying to double up on that jab. Under two minutes to go. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, good head movement there. Nice flip. You got to check these low leg kicks. Big punch lands. Ooh. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Nice leg kick land. Hook to the body blocked by Bisbee. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Can't take many of those. You better check. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, 
as we saw in the lead up to that attack. Well, what a round it was and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round. Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Nice punch there by Robert Whittaker. Try to establish that jab. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up and the boxing. And that is on full display right now. Oh, nice jab. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. That was a thudding leg kick. That was a nice strike. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good straight hand there by Robert Whitaker. Now connects with the right. Just misses with the straight right. Outstanding kick there by Bisping. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated. He's so able to fight for both fighting stances. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Whitaker's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Beautiful punch. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, that's a good right hand. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Whitaker's strike attempt there is blocked. And that one certainly found the target. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponents. Nice punch by Pistol. Oh. oh, big left. Oh! And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. is blocked. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Bisping gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Look at the force behind that leg kick. 
Final seconds here of round number two. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Oh, nice right here. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. DC, uh, any major takeaways uh, after the previous five minutes? And both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Coming, it's blocked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Flush right hand is true. Trying to hammer that lead leg. How about that shin? Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. That right hand hurt him a little bit. See if he can finish. Good right here. Back and forth we go. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Big power shot there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. It's time to look for that now. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Robert Whitaker. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Visibly limping here. This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Pretty good right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Misses with that punch. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Let's go. Let's get the takedown. Beautiful strike. It's such a fast leg kick. Back and forth we go here! Right hand punches the clinch. Right on the button. Big leg kick land. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body, connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Throws the right hand there. Oh, Superman punch! Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Swing and a miss by Whitaker. Oh, he has landed a high ball. 
volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. This thing gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Big leg kick lands. And that one certainly found the target. Stop, stop. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Right hook to the head block. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Just misses with the punch by Bismuth. Oh, big right hand, yes. Big kick land. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Big punch lands through the middle. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Bisbee. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Take more of these leg kicks. He will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice punch by Whitaker. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Hook to the head there by Bisman. Unbelievable. He's, he's hurt bad. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, big left hook there. Big left kick lands under the elbow. That is it. He's done. He's done. Woo! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rivellot has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Robert Whitaker. Well, there
there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.